In this video, you'll learn some basic knowledge about linear barcodes. Let's start with an example of a so-called linear barcode, a code 3 of 9, also called code 39. When reading the barcode, a barcode scanner is sampling the barcode along a scan line. The scanner converts the width of the bars and spaces into digital signals. Most linear barcodes encode the information using the ratio between the narrow and wide barcode elements. The absolute width of the single bars or spaces is normally irrelevant. The term module width, also named X, denotes the width of a narrow element. The width ratio between the single elements is used to store the information, so it doesn't matter if you scan a barcode horizontally or diagonally. In both examples, the ratio between wide and narrow is identical. You may ask yourself why a linear barcode is called linear, or 1D barcode. Both terms are used because the information in such a barcode is stored in one dimension, usually from left to right. Each character in a barcode is encoded with a special pattern. To encode the barcode pattern, a simple lookup in the character table is performed. A code 3 of 9 requires a start and a stop character, marking the beginning and the end. The start and stop characters are not part of the data. When scanning this barcode, the reader just returns to character 1. Finally, some facts for code 39. In case of questions, just contact Tech IT. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.